the lost city of Petra has been on my bucket list for as long as I can remember. I always imagined how I would feel when I saw that first glimpse of the treasury, or how I would feel as I slowly walked through the canyons leading up to the lost city, the high rock walls drowning out any other thoughts or emotions, and leaving just one, pure wonder. I wanted to meet the Bedouin people who call this area home, to see them riding around the lost city with their donkeys and their camels, a frame full of colour. While I always imagined how I would feel, seeing Petra by day, nothing could have prepared me for the magic to be found when visiting Petra by night. This vlog shows the joy I felt visiting this world wonder, but also some important tips for anyone else wanting to visit this magical place. Let's discover Petra. Okay guys, we're all packed up, ready to go. Uh, we're just waiting for our Kareem car to arrive. That's kind of like the Middle Eastern version of Uber. And then we are all set and ready to go to Petra. So we are just getting ready to go. Backpacks on. I don't think I've introduced you guys to Ahmed yet. He is coming with us on our little Jordan tour. Say hello. Hi, <laughs> we're going to Petra. Yeah, next up Petra, let's go. Yalla. We are going to be renting a car here from Derby Rent-A-Car for the next week and it's only costing us 30 euro a day, which is pretty much a bargain here in Jordan. We have been driving for about four hours now. We left Amman this morning and we are on our way to Petra. Um, in fact, we are actually just coming into the entrance of, I guess, Petra town right now. We are driving through the most beautiful valley. The landscape has really changed. It was uh, just desert landscape for about three hours. And now there are just mountains and canyons and really kind of unusual, beautiful houses that I'm going to show you guys. So check out this view. The next two nights here in Petra, we are going to be checking into the Movenpick Hotel. We picked Movenpick as it is the closest hotel to the main entrance gates of Petra, literally across the road. So you can have a beautiful room with a beautiful view, there's even a swimming pool, and you are less than a one minute walk from the main entrance to Petra. Well, wow, guys, we've pretty much just walked through the first restaurant we've seen. It's called My Mom's Recipe. And uh, look at the walls, they're like covered in rugs, so nice. Looks like it could be a good sunset spot as well. So literally just arrived in Petra, but really cool to get a little glimpse of the sunset while we have dinner. What? Wow. Okay, so dinner just arrived and it is on this beautiful platform as you can see. What? You lost my dinner! <laughs> that was uh, on camera. Okay, so the big reveal. It's like uh, grilled chicken, vegetables, french fries. It's quite high up though, I'm not going to try, I'm going to eat this. <laughs> the plan is to have a quick bite to eat and then we are going to go get some tickets for Petra by Night, which we are super excited to see. <laughs> Mixed grill, we have chicken, kofta, and we have kebab, fries, some veggies. Nice, looks good. Petra by night only happens three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So be sure to visit Petra on one of these days. Even if you already have a Jordan Pass, you'll still need to buy a separate ticket for Petra by night. Tickets cost around 20 euro and can be bought from your hotel. The main gates open around 8 p.m., so I suggest joining the queue around that time. Be sure to wear comfortable footwear as it's about a 30 minute walk in the pitch dark. So not to ruin the atmosphere, torches of any kind are forbidden, so you must walk slowly and watch your step. The pathway is lit up with hundreds of paper lanterns, making it a truly magical walk down to the treasury. There was a definite sense of excitement among the crowd. Excited? So excited. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> like a kid. Once you arrive, the organizers of the Petra by Night show sit everyone down on the ground and hand everyone a hot cup of tea. You'll need it as it was freezing here at night time. 
Then it's time for the show to begin. So I just want to show you guys how many people there are here. We have about 20 minutes to take photographs and everyone's sort of running around the lanterns. Once the show ends, you have about 20 minutes at the treasury to walk around and get your photos. After the 20 minutes is up, everyone must go home. Before we continue exploring Petra, I just want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an amazing online platform where you can sign up to courses created by other content creators, YouTubers, and professionals. I often get asked, how do you start out on YouTube? Or how does one make money as a travel blogger? Well, if you guys would like to do what I'm doing, getting paid to travel the world, making amazing travel videos wherever I go, writing for top travel publications, why not try signing up to some courses on Skillshare to help get you started? You could sign up to a photography masterclass or an influencer class, or maybe a course taught by your favorite YouTuber. You never know whose courses you will find on Skillshare. Some of them you might even find from your favorite YouTubers, your favorite Instagrammers, or your favorite content creators. You can actually read the reviews on the screen before you sign up to a course, so you know that the course is the right fit for you. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, they are giving the first 1,000 of my subscribers to sign up to Skillshare one month free membership. So if you do want to sign up to Skillshare, all you have to do is click the link down below. Now, let's get back to discovering Petra. Good morning, guys, from beautiful Petra, Jordan. So excited to be here. Uh, we actually saw Petra by night last night. That was our first evening and it was absolutely magical. But now we're back at 6.30 a.m. and we're hoping to see the sunrise here at Petra. As you can see, it is super empty. Um, we've got our tickets and uh, yeah, we're ready to go in. Okay guys, so this is our replacement pass for two days. This is what we've gotten from buying the Jordan Pass. So we paid 75 dinar that included our visa and a two day uh, entrance to Petra. Yeah, the perfect length, yeah. Morning, Sabalker. So nice. Is that the horse's name, Obama? <laughs> Apparently the horse's name is Obama. Hi. Okay guys, we are back at the entrance to Petra. It's going to take us about 20-25 minutes to walk down through the canyon to the treasury, which is the most famous building, but really considered just the entrance to the lost city of Petra. I'm super excited to share this adventure with you guys, so keep watching to discover the lost city of Petra. Oh my goodness guys, we have just made it here to one of the most famous buildings in Petra. That is the treasury building that you can see right here behind me. It is also where we were, uh, we were last night for the light show, which was just magical. And like I said, this is one of the most famous, I guess, photo spots and famous buildings in all of Petra. And we also just recently discovered that this entire city, which is called the Lost City, was discovered by a Swiss man who came here with the Bedouin people. Um, and he discovered the city, I think it was only 100 or 150 years ago, uh, sometime in the 1800s. So a uh, good tip for you guys is get here as early as possible. We came down, we started walking around 6.30 and there's really not very many people here yet. So if you want to get really nice pictures of the empty canyons or pictures just here at the end of the tunnel, looking back at the treasury, you've got some guys that um, do camel rides. If you want to do a camel ride, uh, there's also horses and you can hike down through the canyons and see more of Petra. But yeah, get here as early as possible if you can for the best views and the best photos. 
يلا حييك حبيبي اهلا وسهلا فيك في الوقت <تصفيق> Okay, so if you want to go to the best uh, photo spot up high with the view down on the treasury, you've got to find one of the local Bedouin people and you pay them about five dinar, which is about five or six euro, and uh, they will bring you on this little hike up through the rocks. You can see the treasury here in the background, and uh, you know, it takes five or ten minutes to get up, and then there's going to be a cool photo spot. These guys are lighting a fire, making tea, is it? Yeah, tea on fire. Oh, cafe with all the rugs. And an amazing photo spot. Cheers to our morning tea at one of the seven wonders. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> one out of the last. <laughs> I'm from Ireland. Ireland. Ireland oh. yeah. Okay, guys, we have checked out the treasury, which is one of the main buildings here. Um, as you can see, the sun is really coming up quite fast now, and it's probably going to get quite hot. But we are making our way to the monastery, which is about a eight kilometer walk, could take about two hours. But first of all, we've just spotted this cute little bridge, um, and over it, there seems to be some more really amazing carved out buildings into the rock, tombs, and other things. So we're just gonna hike up this hill, check out the views. I think one thing most people don't realize about Petra is how large the complex is. I think some people think you can just walk in, spend an hour walking around the canyons and the treasury and then head back. But really it's an entire city full of all of these beautiful carved out buildings and tombs. And right now I'm just walking up to an area called the Royal Tombs. I honestly didn't even know about it before coming. And it's only about a 10, 15 minute walk after the treasury. And there are all of these beautiful like spectacular intricate carvings into the rock face behind me here I'll show you when I get, bit, get a bit closer and this area is called the royal tombs another thing is there's actually quite a few shops and cafes in this area so you don't have to bring like loads of snacks and stuff if you're coming they sell orange juice and tea and coffee and small little snacks snacks as well as lots of different souvenirs if that's what you're looking for Okay, already totally blown away by these royal tombs. There's only about one or two other tourists around right now. And there's this insane complex. The carvings are so beautiful. And it's honestly also like a really good photo spot that you don't see a lot of people taking pictures here. Um, people always seem to just go straight to the treasury. But like, look at this. It reminds me of a building I saw in Jaipur. There's this very famous pink palace in Jaipur in India. And if you guys have ever been there, this will remind you of that. The 
best part about these tombs is you actually can walk inside. And this is the largest of the royal tombs. And I'm literally the only person here right now. This is the Great Temple. Apparently the excavation has been done by Brown University. Despite there being a lot more to discover here in beautiful Petra, we were all a little bit tired by 12 or 1 o'clock so we decided to walk back to our hotel, have a nap for a few hours and potentially go out exploring later in the day. Sadly, it is our last evening here in beautiful Petra. We have had an amazing stay here, seeing Petra at night, seeing Petra today, hiking around the lost city. It really is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been and I highly recommend everyone to come visit here. Hopefully this guide will be helpful to you. Um, right now we are at one of the other Movenpick resorts. This one is right up on a mountain outside of Petra town, about 15 minutes drive outside of uh, the gates to Petra and we have some of the most spectacular mountain views. I don't know if you can see already but I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. It's just mountains and hills forever and we're going to have the most spectacular sunset right here behind the mountains and you can still see the lost city over to the right and everywhere where we walked through earlier all the beautiful canyons and everything. So it really has been magical. I think we're going to have uh, some food and some drinks here and then we'll head back into Petra Town later. Um, head to bed and then tomorrow we'll be heading off on a new adventure.